got it tuned up pretty good. That X450 is big for this boat. Oh man, she runs good. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Welcome back to Ironclad RC. I was gonna run the recoil because I got a new a new battery for it. All right, and uh, I plugged it in, and I can't get the remote to uh, to work with it. It's, I'll show you what it was doing. I actually can't figure it out man what a piece of shit so uh so we're not gonna run the recoil i just got this 1300 milliamp 30c 11.1 volt you know 3s pack for it uh, a venom pack just got just got it just got it charged up the motor's going like you know high rpm oh what a piece of junk so <laughs> so we're gonna run a delta force all right i've got it on 4s today octura x 637 on the boat it didn't work well with the with the little delta force and uh, i just you know i wanted to try it out on the big delta force basically but i also wanted to show you guys this um see it's a cooling tube consolidation uh i got this this is a a hose clamp all right and see where i polished it up it's an old hose clamp it's dirty polished it up just cut it all right and wrapped it you know bent the edges over so i could fit the cooling tubes through boom consolidation you can use it on wires you can use it on your cooling tubes you know make it smaller or larger just to kind of organize your boat you can put like scale stickers on the hose clamp kind of dress up your boat a little bit you know i uh, just want to throw that out there also um, i use uh like a dish your your wife's old dishwashing sponge you know don't throw it away just put it in the bottom of your boat it'll soak up water you know i'm not going to put the i'm not going to put the hatch uh tape on it today i'm just going to kind of run it so I, I didn't want water splashing all over my motor i was going to run the the recoil because i just got the battery in i actually put the esc over on the opposite side where i tried it at before just to kind of see what the boat was doing i was going to use the two brake blade propeller and a three blade propeller but it's uh it's acting funny it's acting up so i guess we're going to run the the big boy just going to put the gps in it for fun just to just to kind of see where it's at with that little little prop. That's the smallest prop I've ever put on this boat, but it's a, a six pitch, 1.6 pitch. So, uh, you know, just curious to see what, it, what it'll do. You know what I mean? Just curious how, see if the boat handles how it handles with a smaller prop, a smaller pitchier prop, you know? Oh, that sucks with the recoil, man. I, I would plug it in, you know, with the with the receiver, on, uh, with the transmitter on, and and, and then it'll it'll slow down. Man, I've had some bad luck here lately, man. Oh, damn, uh, my rigger motor blew up. The damn <laughs> Hobby Star ESC and my Forest Crate blew up. I guess now I gotta get. I guess the receiver shot or transmitter, whatever the fuck. I don't even know. Don't even care. Oh, damn jeez help me jesus help me help me baby jesus all right let me quit jacking my jaws here let's run the boat that's what y'all come here for oh oh nice nice and nice and smooth you can run this boat all day with that prop damn motor won't even heat up probably you know Nice and smooth on 4S. Look at that. That's full trigger. Yeah, with smaller props, it don't drain your batteries fast, you know, it don't heat your electronics up. And, uh, you know, you can run, you know, if you got like a, you know, if you want to, be out at the lake for a couple hours you got a few batteries charged up throw a couple small props on there you know
Yeah, I'm actually um, I'm working on I'm working on a video right now. Uh, you know, it's a sport fishing boat that I built a few years back. I just painted it. Uh, is that big green wooden boat that I built? And uh, I'm working on the video now. But um, just in, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a brushed, you know, a brushed motor, brushed setup, just a cruising boat, like a fun, like scale, a scale boat basically. And uh, and, and in the video. I, I kind of, you know, just painting the boat, prepping it up, and uh, telling, you know, getting to know me. I was telling you guys about myself, what I used to do in the past. I used to be a fisherman and all that. So uh, it's a long video, but if you're interested in, you know, some fishing stories and, um, you know, how to paint a, a wooden boat, the next video is right up your alley, you know? Um, I'm actually going to actually going to do a build a brush motor brush motor build um everything's going to be homemade in the boat the boat i'm working on the sport fishing boat we're going to put like a tower like a tuna tower on it maybe a couple outriggers and stuff but um yeah it should be a fun fun little series you know kind of slow it down a little bit i've been running you know the the boats uh the fast boats kind of slow it down a little bit you know Fun little project. Thirty-seven, thirty-seven with that X six thirty-seven. <laughs> Temps are nice and cool, so let's uh, let's put a bigger prop on. Let's put the X four fifty on. Yeah, see, I got the Guinness, the Guinness strut on here. It's actually a pretty good strut. I actually like it. But when you uh, when you run 6S in it, or I've actually run 8S through this boat, it actually wants to like torque over from uh, from all the torque with these big props on this mono. This boat right here put a smile on your face. But yeah, yeah, that um, that hose clamp with the with the water water lines, that's pretty good. Uh, pretty good hose consolidation. I would definitely think about using that. You know, if you got like a mess of um, of cooling tubes all over your boat, you know, and try to consolidate it with that with that hose clamp. It works pretty good. And it's really light, you know, it's stainless steel, you don't have to worry about it rusting. Yeah, man, this is, this is right here, it's the bee's knees, y'all. Oh, there's the battery. <laughs> Bigger props. Bigger props, man, it don't take long. Got it tuned up pretty good. That X450 is big for this boat. Oh man, she runs good. Hands down, my favorite boat. Hands down. Hands down. This is my favorite boat. Right, watch me fall in the damn water. My favorite boat, y'all. This is my favorite boat, son. Oh, I love this fucking boat. Excuse my language. <laughs> I gotta stop that. Oh, I love this thing. I love this boat. Gotta wax it. Need to wax it. Need to compound wax it and then uh, wax it, you know. Get her get her shined back up, man. It's, it'll make a big difference. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> All right, so 45, 45 with the X450. All right, and... Um, yeah, the motor's cool. Let's see what we got here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to start all my videos. I think I'm going to go on like a schedule. I have a little quick schedule. Don't hold me to it, but I'm going to try to go to a schedule. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, or Saturday, Sunday. Ooh, 126 on the motor on 4S. 
Oh my water jacket got pushed back. What? 127 on 4S? That ain't right. Oh, 77, 93, the front, 85. So the wires, 90, 98. Wires are 101 there. What in the hell did I hit 130 at? I hit a 130 just now. Where was that at? What the hell? I had a 130 somewhere for a second it just popped up and went away which these uh this is a walmart thing walmart hyper tough ten dollar uh infrared gun so you can't really rely on it but but yeah that, that's pretty 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 slick little idea you know and if uh you know you could use you could actually some of the smaller ones have like um like solid some of the smaller ones are solid and then it has the slits and it goes back solid so um you know kind of give it like a cool look with those little slits in it but they polish up good if you got some old ones that are stripped out and stuff definitely man definitely think about um giving that right there a shot you know and yeah see my sponge see my sponge in here oh it's hung, it's hung on the velcro but yeah yeah yeah, so it, it definitely take you know keeps the water away from the motor. You know what I mean? That sponge right there it definitely keeps the the water away. Let's try the little shit box again. All right, let's try the shit box again here. Let's try the shit box again. Yeah, I just changed, I changed the batteries out three different times just now. Nothing's helping. Oh, what a piece of shit. But I like these little batteries, these little Venom flies for uh, smaller, smaller boats. That's what I use, you know. I wanted to come out, run the, the Delta Force. I really wanted to come out and uh, try out my new battery, you know, this 1300 milliamp. So I'm gonna have to go home and kind of troubleshoot this whole, the whole ordeal here, man. It's spectrum for you, you know? Oh, what a little shit box. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I'll, uh, we'll see you guys next time, man. We'll see you next time. I, I just wanna thank everybody for watching my videos. Um, you know, if you got any ideas for, uh, for videos, you know, shoot them my way. If you, if you need, uh, if you have a question about something, um, you know, comment and I'll try to answer your questions the best I can. Um, you know, if you'd like for me to make a video with, with some of the stuff that I have, some of the stuff you've seen, uh, if you're, you know, any kind of comparisons with anything, propellers, uh, let me know, let me know. I've got some three blade and two blades on the way or on the long boat, but um, yeah, well, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Big B with Ironclad RC. Quit jacking my damn jaws. All right. So, uh, so yeah, I've got. I'm back at the house. I'm about to troubleshoot the boat. Um, I, I probably I know what it is. I, I know what it is. It's probably this, you know, receiver here. But oh, look, I'm not even touching the remote. Did you hear it? Oh, I didn't touch it. See that? It's just coming on. You see that? That's what I was doing earlier. Oh man, I was mad. Mad as hell. It's odd because I, I corrosion X'd the receiver. And normally when you corrosion X the receivers, they don't they don't do that. Alright, so It's not the trim. See, I'm, I'm I'm working the trim, and it's not not doing anything. All right, so I'm gonna unplug the. I'm gonna unplug this. Okay. Let me unplug the battery. I should have done that first, but 
I'm gonna put my little bind plug in so I can bind a new receiver here. All right. I got a lot of these remote, uh, these re receivers, you know, a lot of these remotes, receivers, I got a ton of them from these Raid to Runs that I've changed remotes out on. I use them for my boats. I mean, they're all right for my boats, but sometimes they'll let you down like this one did. You know what I mean? Make sure everything's zeroed out. All right. All the way over. Yep, that's what it was. I, I, I got my servo unplugged, so. Ooh, that thing's got some juice, huh? Old shitbox got some juice, come on. <laughs> so, uh, I can't believe, I can't believe it, it failed on me, because I, I corrosion exit, and usually that will, uh, you know, maybe I'll do it again. We'll check it out in a couple days. And see if it, um, and see if it helps. You know, even after it quit working, I, I'm just curious. I do stuff like this all the time. All right, so uh, corrosion X. Okay, I'm gonna actually mark it. Let's mark it, and I'll maybe a, a video later on, a couple of videos from now. I'll give you a, a, an update <laughs> how good this corrosion X works. You know. All right, so that's the bad one. All right, but uh, but yeah, I got it going. Got it going, huh? Got it going. So uh, next time we'll take out the little recoil. We'll have this little battery. I was running this giant and, and this is you know this is all i had when i bought the boat it was used you know and uh i was look at the difference so that's probably where the terrible handling come from i actually got the boat <laughs> handling pretty good considering the the gigantic battery i had in it i'll bet you money so 31 miles an hour okay with the three blade propeller i'll bet you money we can get 34 with this battery. It should perform better. All right, it should perform much better. So, uh, so yeah, we got it going. We got it going. Huh? Yeah. So we'll uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.